Now, I am a gross anatomist, but I'm in Dr. Mundley's office. He's going to talk about the role of vitamin A in vision. <laughs> Hey everyone, Dr. Mongli here. So let me explain you what is a visual cycle in this particular uh, video. So the visual cycle, especially related with vitamin A, we will be concentrating on role of rhodopsin in uh, dim light vision or low light vision. So in the retina, we have uh, two kinds of cells here. Of course, we have uh, so many kinds of cells in uh, retina, but the two kinds of cells that we are Referring to the vision process is one of the cone cell and other is the rod cell. So we are going to look into rod cell and how exactly the dim light vision is possible, especially in the presence of vitamin A. So the rod cell, which has uh, rhodopsin, rod cell has got uh, rhodopsin and rhodopsin, if you break down the rhodopsin and see what it contains, so it is basically opsin and 11 cis retinol dehyde or 11 cis retinol. Uh, this is what is the composition of rhodopsin. So, whenever dim light or a low light falls on to the rhodopsin, so uh, dim light falling on to the rhodopsin, so there will be photo degradation of rhodopsin and there will be breakdown of rhodopsin into opsin and all trans retinol dehyde. So, the 11 cis retinol dehyde, it will be converted into all trans retinol dehyde. So, as it is shown in the figure here, so the when the light falls onto the rhodopsin, opsin and all trans retinol dehyde is separated and this is the photo degradation process and this is going to induce the neuronal signaling process. And how exactly the neuronal signaling will go on and what really happens on the rod cell membrane. So let's look into that. So whenever photo degradation is going on here, when the conformational change occurs over the rhodopsin, so it is going to induce a conformational change in another protein which is in association with the rhodopsin and that particular protein is transducin. Now this transducin is a G protein coupled molecule. So it's a G protein basically. It has got alpha, beta and uh, uh, gamma subunit. So whenever rhodopsin undergoes photo degradation, so there will be changes in the conformation of the transducin where uh, GDP is now replaced by GTP as it is shown in the figure here. So the GDP is taken out and GTP is released and during this process, so alpha, sorry, beta and gamma subunits are separated from alpha subunit which is associated with the GTP now. Now the GTP associated alpha subunit, what it does, it is going to activate a neighboring protein called cyclic GMP phosphodiesterase enzyme. So it is there over this cell membrane. So uh, alpha associated GTP, G alpha subunit with the GTP is going to activate cyclic GMP phosphodiesterase. So what this phosphodiesterase enzyme does, what this cyclic GMP phosphodiesterase enzyme does, it is going to convert cyclic GMP into just GMP. Cyclic GMP is converted into a GMP molecules. So basically a second messenger cyclic GMP concentration is going to go down whenever cyclic GMP phosphodiesterase is activated. So what will happen? So in this normal, cyclic GMP concentration is not, uh, concentration has to be maintained in the rod cell because this helps a sodium channel to be in open conformation over the rod cell membrane. So whenever you have sufficient cyclic GMP in the rod, uh, rod cells, sodium channel is op in open conformation, sodium is moving in, that means more and more positive charges are moving in. So when the more positive charges are there, that means membrane is in depolarization state and that will open up the calcium channel and more calcium channel coming in, uh, calcium coming into the cell, uh, into the rod cell and more calcium means more and more release of glutamate from the rod, rod cells into the bipolar cell junction. Uh, there is a junction, the junction between rod, bi, rod cells and the bipolar cells. So the glutamate, glutamate amino acid is released and this glutamate, it is acting as an inhibitory neurotransmitter. That's why under normal condition when sufficient light is there during that time, uh, rod cells do not participate in vision process because glutamate which is released from the rod cells will be acting as an inhibitory neurotransmitter.
Now what exactly happens under the dim light vision whenever low light is there. So low light means water degradation of rhodopsin that means transducin is activated that is going to activate cyclic GMP phosphodiesterase that's going to convert G, uh, cyclic GMP into just GMP that means cyclic GMP concentration decreases. So whenever cyclic GMP concentration decreases during that time so the sodium channel so sodium channel will close. So because cyclic GMP is needed for sodium channel to be in open configuration. So when the sodium channel is closed that means there will be decrease in positive charges within the rod cells that means relatively more negative charges have increased and that causes hyperpolarization of a rod cell membrane. Normally rod cell will be having a minus 30 millivolt as opposed to other cells which have got minus 70 millivolts. Rod cells will have minus 30 millivolts. So because of the closure of the sodium channel, because of this hyperpolarization occurs. So hyperpolarization means minus 30 is converted, means increased to minus 35 millivolt. So minus 30 millivolt is increased to minus 35 millivolt. That is a hyperpolarization, partial hyperpolarization uh, process. Because of this hyperpolarization, what, uh, uh, because of this what happens, calcium channel will close. Hyperpolarization will close the calcium channel. When the calcium channel is closed, so calcium concentration within the rod cell will decrease and decrease in the calcium concentration will decrease exocytosis of glutamate from the rod cells into the bipolar cell junction. So now glutamate release is decreased. As I said before, glutamate is acting as an inhibitory neurotransmitter. Because of the closure of calcium channel, uh, release of glutamate into the neuronal junction decreases. That means inhibitory effect of glutamate is taken off. That means the signals are moving from rod cells into the bipolar cells and then into the optic cortex. This is how under dim light, so uh, vision is possible, made possible and that is all because of the molecular events that are involved here that I am explaining here. So the dim light, rhodopsin the photodegradation, opsin and 11 cis retinol D8 separated into opsin plus all trans retinol D height, then transfusion activation, cyclic GMP phosphodiesterase is activated, decreases cyclic GMP concentration, sodium channel will close and that causes hyperpolarization of the membrane from minus 30 millivolt to minus 35 millivolt and that closes the calcium channel and decreasing uh, closure of the calcium channel decreases calcium in the rod, rod cells and that means there will be decrease in the exocytosis of glutamate which is an inhibitory neurotransmitter so in the absence of glutamate so when the inhibition is not there rod cells communicate with the bipolar cells and the signal will move from the retina into the optic cortex and that's how the vision is made possible under the dim light it takes time and that is what is referred as dark adaptation time okay whenever there is an increase in the dark adaptation time that is an indirect indication that there is a vitamin A deficiency especially uh, vitamin A in the form of 11 cis retinol dehyde is the one which is involved in uh, dim light vision or low light vision okay all that is explained whatever I am explained now so it is also there in the figure I hope this video has uh, helped you to understand what is the molecular event what all the molecular events that are going on in a dim light vision especially in connection with the uh, vitamin A that is the uh, 11 cis retinoldehyde form of vitamin A. So thanks for watching if you have any questions so put that question in the description in the comment section below if you like the video give the like button and also uh, click the subscription button so that you get the regular updates on the new videos that I will be uh, uploading. Thanks again and uh, see you in my next video.